Dr. Stan Monteith. What a great guy. Go, go ahead. Brought, Amen. Amen what a wonderful that. human being, a dear friend. Um, you brought up earlier, Alex, and you asked Joel about 9-11, and we know pretty much what happened. But in any crime, you look to see who stands to gain. If you remember the origins of the Carlisle Group, when they bought up all the government contractors, all the military contractors, for about ten cents on the dollar, Joel, you're a military man. Yeah, the late 1990s. That? So, that's correct. Frank Carlucci, the Bin Laden family, were all involved in the in the Carlisle Group, and ever since those wars started in the Middle East and in North Africa, the, the uh, contractors made a fortune, and they sold those companies out, and they went legitimate Carlisle. But, Joel, are you familiar with, with uh, the workings of the Carlisle Group? Because I think that's that's really the key. Excellent they, question, they, Harvey. Uh, Thank you. Uh, we're going to break here in a minute, but uh, absolutely. The Bin Ladens are one of the biggest defense contractor owners. They made money off taking out Iraq. Isn't that sick, Joel? No, it's very, very true. And I've tracked the Carlisle Group uh, for many, many decades. So they are the core element of control in this military industrial complex of, of terrorism but remember it's a it's not a monetary conspiracy it's not just to get rich it's a globalist conspiracy that suborns and gets people who want to get rich into the process rewards them carlo doesn't control this there's higher controls that are that the carlisles are supporting Absolutely. Uh, they're doing it to build a one-world government, one-world religion. This is a cult we're fighting. They'll be back in 70 seconds with more calls with Joel Skousen. Then Dr. Steve Thank Pachinik joins us. Trump has kicked 9-11 back into the headlines. There's been some big developments. Bizarre Bush insider calls Trump liberal conspiracy theorist over 9-11 remarks. The former uh, Bush press secretary on The Five. That's coming up at the start of the next segment. Our guest right now is Joel Skousen. I've kind of hogged him and haven't gone to many of your calls, but we're going to him now. Ed in FEMA Region 9, what former state are you calling in from, Ed? I'm calling from deep in the heart of North Central Los Angeles County. All right, go ahead, sir. Home, home of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, Los Angeles being CHP, where their motto is, shoot first and ask questions second. And gentlemen, I want to first thank you for being accessible. But I have a couple of questions for you and Joel, and maybe you can break it down for me. First of all, I see that China's joined in the fight with Russia and Syria. And I want to know if that's a prelude to an invasion of North America. Is that like a scenario that we need to look out for? Um, none of the presidential candidates talk about the, um, the, the vulnerability of our power grid and how those two countries could take us out that way, along with the financial collapse. And, um, and my third question is for Joel. I'm not sure if they're covered in his books, but I'm an individual who lives from paycheck to paycheck. So I can't afford some of the offers that, you know, um, you guys offer. How, should, how do folks get prepared on a limited budget? Two, two big questions. Would the Chinese and Russians ever invade the United States? And then B, how, how does someone on a low budget, small budget get prepared? Joel Skousen. Uh, first of all, it is not true that the Chinese are in Syria. Their carrier is not in the area. All of that was disinformation. Uh, China is has a few uh, advisors in there and intelligence people reaping the intelligence about U.S. operations in there, but there are no Chinese troops, no Chinese. I don't believe, even in World War III, that Russia and China will attempt to invade the United States. I mean, it's just suicide with long lines of communication like that to run an occupation. And again, 600 million arms in this country, at least. I mean, this would be suicide. Uh, he's taking over Guam, Hawaii. You and, nuke the United States and its bases, then make it capitulate. That's right. They're attempting to blackmail us into submission. They don't understand and, uh, in that regard. The other questions, Alex? Um, he was like, how do you get prepared on a low budget, small budget? This is always tough because, you know, preparation is stock as money. Um, one of the things that I've done um, for people is uh, on my website, joelskousen.com, they can get PDF versions of some of my books uh, at half price. Um, I still think that most people need to have the, um, you know, the full color version because my books are like books. You may, you may pay $45 retail for a secure home. But it saves you thousands of dollars in the building process because it teaches you how to do it yourself. The same with the high security 
and how to do a, a shelter. So those of us in the business are trying to provide ways, um, you know, to get sure. uh, some of these resources uh, cheaper than our, but remember, it just takes a certain amount of money and you're going to have to save and scrimp uh, to be able to get ahead in, in this business. Uh, you know, just cutting out, going out to dinner and other things can save quite a bit of money over time. Joel, we're out of time. We got 45 seconds. Carol, who I'll get to you later, you got to go says, are, are the Russians in bed with the USA and the New World Order? Is there really one big combine? I know your answer will be no. Three major predator groups all bidding for world government, right? That's correct. They, you must not uh, misinterpret the fact that it's a one-way street. Global is helping Russia and China to build them as enemies, but one way, it's not, you won't find collusion from Russia and the United States coming back that other direction. All right, Joel Skousen, worldaffairsbrief.com. Thank you so much for the time. My pleasure, Alex, always. We'll be back with Dr. Steve Pachenik. You talk about an insider, former head of psychological warfare operations for the State Department. He's going to be covering the waterfront with us and taking your calls. I bet you can continue on and talk to him. Uh, he's another big brain on the subject. Stay with us.